Milton Ole Sapit anamtaka Rais William Ruto kutumia nafasi hii kusagisha serikali kwani ndio njia tu ambayo taifa litasonga mbele. Sapit pia amekashifu idara ya polisi kwa ukatili ulioshuhudiwa wakati wa maandamano dhidi ya serikali. On any misdeeds let us all translate our faith commitments into action. As a church, we commit to uphold accountability and defend the pulpit from abuse or misuse of all kinds. Dear Kenyans, based on our discussions and reflection, we would like to make the following prayers and this call to the nation. We commend the young people and support their clamor for accountability, good governance, and equal access to opportunities and delivery of services. Standing with them, we say no to a culture of impunity, corruption, continuous violence, tribalism, poor services, delivery, uh, especially on essential sectors like health, education, and agriculture. We want to honor all those who lost their lives, the injured, and anyone who have lost their property. We remember all who died during the current protest and convey our deep, deepest condolences to their families and friends. We also pray for quick recovery to all who are injured and stand with all who are mourning at this point in time, their lost ones, and even those who lost their property. We are dismayed by the police brutality, arbitrary arrest, and we demand an end to extrajudicial killing and use of excessive force against peaceful protesters. We also call for immediate arrest and prosecution of top officers who issue orders to kill. The rule of law must apply across board and to all who have done anything wrong against uh, any Kenyan. In the same vein, we demand, the we demand that abductions must stop and those held in police custody must be released immediately or produced uh, in court for possible prosecution if there is any uh, criminal against anyone. In this regard, let the police be allowed to enforce the law and order without political interference. The emerging trends of arresting and abducting of Kenyans who hold contrary opinions must stop. Freedom of speech and of the press. We must uphold each and every one of us has a right to information. And we want to urge the government to allow all agencies that are providing information to Kenyans to do that without intimidation. We condemn the recent act where media personnel were attacked in a broad daylight. We say no to harming of anyone who is informing Kenyans.